If we recall a part of history, how could we forget the most devastating conflict the world has ever known? World War II. Hitler had established a totalitarian German regime in a juncture of economic crisis on an international level, liquidating democratic institutions, the persecution of Jews and others. This became his active politics to fulfill his expansionist plans in Europe. On the other hand, the United States started a modernization program that led them to be one of the first great powers in the Navy. That is why the United States Army had little participation during World War I, even though back then it was the fourth world power by tonnage. This is why Naval Station Newport was a very important and symbolic base, as it was used during World War II. Like years before, the United States was in support of France against Nazi Germany. This is why President Franklin D. Roosevelt had been interested in France for a long time and had been a personal friend of French Senator Baron Amaury de Lagrange. At the end of 1937, the senator commented to Roosevelt about the French military's weakness and asked him for help. Roosevelt intervened and forced the War Department to secretly sell the most modern American airplanes to France. This is why this naval base was transcendental to the French, because it was a point of support for the war fleets of this country. This American naval base, Naval Station Newport, is the home of the Naval War College and the Naval Justice School. Newport now maintains inactive ships at its pier facilities, along with the United States Coast Guard. It is in this school where Captain Abdul Noor is sent to continue his military training. It's important to remember that the Naval Undersea Warfare Center is a center for investigation, development, trial and evaluation, engineering and fleet support for submarines of the United States Army. Also, autonomous underwater systems and offensive and defensive weapon systems associated with submarine warfare. One of these corporate laboratories from the Systems Command of the Navy. The Royal Naval College was a training facility for the British Naval staff. Today, the buildings form part of the Greenwich University and the Trinity College of Music. Nevertheless, the whole compound is still called Old Royal Naval College. It is one of the main tourist attractions in London. It was once the training facility for the Royal Navy between 1873 to 1998, and it offered courses for naval officers. It was the home of the Royal Navy Staff College, which provided advanced training for officers. The equivalent in the British Army was the Staff College Camberley, and the equivalent in the Royal Air Force was the RAF Staff College Bracknell. The college quickly became the European training facility for naval officers with the highest grades, with a reputation of academic diligence and the training of its staff, leaders in their field. This prestige made all of the elite naval officers in the world want to study at the Royal Naval College between 1873 to 1997. This was of great importance and tradition for the British royal family and other personalities of international royalty, since it is a regal tradition to go through their military training at this school. Proudly, Captain Hector Abdel Noor was the first Latin American to graduate from this school. In a high developing technology era, new courses were continuously added to the curriculum. A naval science course was offered and it was taught in a laboratory. In fact, a small nuclear reactor was built there. In 1873, the Naval College Portsmouth acquired the buildings of the old Royal Hospital for the people of Greenwich. And that's where the Royal Navy College was established. In a time of world wars and developing technology, the Royal Naval College offered avant-garde training for promising officers. It would also seat a lot of Wrens trained here during World War II. The old Royal Naval College Greenwich has a long and illustrious history. The centerpiece of the maritime Greenwich World Heritage Site were the classic buildings of the old Royal Naval College and were designed by the best architects in England. They are considered among the best in Europe, 
with the luxurious painted hall and the neoclassic chapel, the site has had a variety of uses, like the Palace of Greenwich, the Royal Navy Hospital of Seamen, and then the Royal Naval College. The Army retired in 1997, and the old Royal Naval College is open for tourism. Today, it runs under the Greenwich Foundation for the old Royal Naval College. It was established in 1997 as a charitable organization to prevent the magnificent buildings and Baroque grounds for present and future generations and offer opportunities for a broad and diverse public to enjoy and share in its importance. In addition to an important preservation program, the Old Royal Naval College has a popular public program for concerts, festivals, chats, visits, and events. Its award-winning education program, volunteer programs, and a commitment to the community assures its very important place within the local community. Today, the Old Royal Naval College has a philanthropic support to meet its goals and preserve the buildings to the highest level. It also makes it possible for this site to be accessible for the broadest public possible.